this is Anil Sharma and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, today we are going to do numericals with general concept 5 numericals. Favorite 5 for advance. Right, so these 5 numericals are very important numericals up to advanced level. So keep watching my video. Before we move on to those 5 numericals, if you are not yet subscribed my channel, I just request you please subscribe my channel. Also, if you like my video, click on the like button and of course, give small and sweet comments if you really love my videos. One more thing, don't forget to click on bell button so that when I update a new video, you will get notification of that new video immediately. So let's begin with the uh, Stand I Learn chapter, Mole Concept. Uh, advanced level mole concept, little bit higher level mole concept numericals today. And these are favorite five numericals. Yes, these are my favorite five numericals, which are actually not so difficult. But the words make it difficult and students get confused how to solve these numericals. So, let's begin with numerical number one. Here is your numerical number one. Numerical number one, you can see this. What is the mass of one molecule of water. Simple. What is the mass of a um, water molecule in gram? Question number one. Question number two. How many molecules of water are present in a drop of water having weight 0.05 gram? So you, you have a drop of water. That drop of, or drop of water weighs 0.05 gram. You need to find how many molecules are present in that single drop of water. And if that same drop of water evaporates in one hour, you need to find the number of molecules that evaporates in one second from the surface, right? So let's begin with first part. Number one, find out the mass of water in gram of a molecule, single molecule. If you read the question, you will come to know that you need to find a mass of a water molecule. A means a single water molecule. Well, I have given you many numerical uh, formulas to find out uh, the uh, number of moles, atoms, molecules, etc. In my video lecture number 2. If you have not seen that, please go to my video lecture number 2. You will get all the formulas. How to find the number of atoms, how to find the number of molecules, how to find the mass of one atom, how to find the mass of one molecule. In that video, I have to, uh, given you one formula. And of course, that formula is mass of, sorry, it's mass of one molecule of water or one atom of any substance. It is equal to, it is equal to one molecule mass. It is equal to its molecular molar mass, its molar mass, that is molar mass of water, upon its Algedro number and what's molar mass of water? Yes, of course, it's 18. What is Avogadro number? That also you know very well. It's 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. Hence, you will get the mass of one molecule of water. If you calculate it, the answer is 2.989 into 10 to minus 23 gram. Yes. The answer is 2.989 into 10 to the power minus 23 gram. So how is it the sum is? Right? It's very easy. How is it? It is very easy. Here, number 2. If a drop of water weighs 0 0.05 gram, how many molecules of water are present in that? A single drop of water. Well, weight of a drop of water is given. Weight of a drop of water, weight of a drop of water it is 0 0.05 gram. The thing is, you need to find how many molecules are present in this one drop of water. Well, weight of a drop of water is 0 0.05 gram. You know very well, if I want to find a number of molecule, again, for that, just go through my video lecture number 2. And three, there you will find all the type of 
formulas to find number of atoms, number of molecules, number of moles, mass, etc. So, number of molecules, if you want to find, then the formula is number of moles multiplied by Avogadro number. Number of moles. Now, we don't know number of moles because mass is given. Number of moles is not given. How to find number of moles? There is one more formula to find number of moles. And it is given mass divided by molar mass. So number of moles will be, it will be, it's a given mass divided by molar mass. Clear? Into Avogadro number. And what's given mass? It is 0 0.05 gram. And molar mass of water is 80 multiplied by Avogadro number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. 0.05 gram. Clear? And what's the answer? You can calculate it. You will get answer 1.673 into 10 to the power 21 molecule. So the final answer will be 1.673 into 10 plus to 21 molecules. So if you have a drop of water weighing 0.05 gram, the number of molecules present inside it is 1.673 into 10 to the power 21 molecules. This is number 2. And number 3 of question number 1. If it takes 1 hour to evaporate that single drop of water, then in 1 second from the surface, how many water molecules will get evaporated? So, you are given a surface. On that surface, that drop of water falls. If I want to evaporate that complete drop of water, it takes 1 hour. But in 1 second, how many molecules will get evaporated? The total number of molecules are given in a drop of water, in the single drop, this many molecules. But these all molecules will not get evaporated in one second. I need to find in one second how many molecules will get evaporated. Right? So I can say that a single drop of water will take one hour. That means this many molecules will take one hour to evaporate. Because these many molecules are present in a drop of water. In single drop of water, these many molecules are present. So, this molecule will take 1 hour to get evaporated. Number of molecules, 1.673 into 10 is to 21 molecules will get evaporated in 1 hour. You can also say 1.673 into 10 is to 21 molecules will get evaporated in 60 minutes and 60 seconds. That means, I will convert 1 hour into seconds. Now, this is the seconds that is taken by this many molecules to get evaporated. So, if I want to find in one second, how many molecules will get evaporated? Well, mathematically, it's very easy. Just do the cross multiplication. You will get the number of molecules that evaporated in one second. So, number of molecules evaporated in one second, it is equal to 1.673 into 10 to the power 21 divided by 3600. Is that clear? 1.673 into 10 to the power 21 divided by 3600. And what's the answer? It is around 4.64 into 10 to the power 17. So if you calculate it, you will get answer 4.67 into 10 to the power 17 molecules. I mean to say that in one second, this many molecules will get evaporated from a single drop of water. How easy is this sum? So, when we read the sum, we find it quite difficult. But hey students, that's not so difficult. You can do these numericals quite easily. The only thing is, you should know the formula to apply the given numerical. Fine. So you can take a screenshot of this one. Clear? Okay. Moving on to second question of favorite part. You can see the second question of favorite part on the screen. You can see the second question. How many years would it take to spend Avogadro number of rate of 10 lakh? Per second. 10 lakh per second. Now, 
it's very necessary to understand this question first of all it is said that in one second you can spend 10 lakh rupees if i want to spend the number of rupees equals to avogadro number then what time would it take wow avogadro number the number of rupees right <laughs> this is too much of amount yeah so i need to find the years it takes to spend the number of rupees equal to avogadro number hey this is also very easy sir number two see first of all it is given that if i want to spend one lakh rupees then i can spend in one second sorry 10 lakh rupees in one second 10 lakh rupees but i need to spend 6.023 into 10 is to 23 rupees that is up equals to our greater number rupees then what time would it take in seconds so time taken in seconds time taken in seconds it is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 mathematical rule this multiplied by this upon 10 lakh that is 10 0 0 0 0 0 this seconds will taken by a person to spend the number of rupees equal to Algedro number but hey wait this is not your final answer your final answer is not this one read the question it is how many years and we got answer in seconds so the thing is you need to convert this in years to convert it in years what shall we do 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 10 like multiply by 60 seconds 60 minutes, 24 hours, 365 days will make one year. Will make one year. 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 24 hours, 365 days will make one year. Hence, if you divide our greater number by this, you will get the number of years spent to the number of years required to spend the money equal to our greater number. Clear? Now just get uh, divided and you will get your final answer. It is 1.908 into 10 is to 10 years. 1.9, I sorry, 1.989 into 10 is to 10 years. Again, as I say, how easy the sum is? But the thing is, question, when we read a question, wow, that's too difficult. Well, it's not so difficult. The thing is, you should know how to do it by just making a sweet and simple formulas yes and all formulas are given in my video lecture number two as well as three you call so you can see that well now moving on to my third favorite question question number three a 0 0.005 centimeter thickness coating of copper is given to you it is deposited on a plate the area of plate is 0 0.5 meter square total area you need to find the number of copper atoms deposited on that plate so two things is given the thickness of copper plate and the area of copper plate the two things are given the question is how many number of atoms will be deposited on that copper plate wow that's too difficult question well not at all first thing the area of plate is given to you it is 0 0.5 meter square well we'll start from here number three area is given to you it is 0 0.5 meter square first of all we'll convert into centimeter square because if you if you see the question density is also given but it is in, in centimeter cube so meter is to be converted into centimeter that's a basic rule of science you should have similar units for different physical quantities so area is 0 0.5 meter square well convert it into centimeter if I want to convert it to centimeter, it's 0 0.5 into 10 is to 4 centimeter square. Because 1 meter is 10 is to 2, here is meter square. So it will be 10 is to 4. I repeat, 1 meter is 10 is to 2 centimeter, but it is meter square. So it will be 10 is to 4 centimeter square. Well, this is the area of plate. Second thing, thickness, it is also given. The thickness of the plate is 0.05 centimeter. 
Hence, both the units are same. First of all, if I want to find how many atoms deposited, I must know what is the mass of copper atom that can be deposited on its surface. For that, what is the surface? What is the volume of that surface? I should know that. First of all, what shall we do? We'll convert this into volume. How? Okay, just observe carefully. Let's say this is your liter. Yep. Now, the thickness is given. So, let's say this is your thickness. Clear? And this is your complete area. So, when I multiply area with the thickness, it becomes volume. Quite simple. When I multiply this area with the thickness, it will become a complete plate volume. Hence, we will find volume of plate. And how shall we find? We will multiply area with the thickness. So, volume of plate is equal to area multiplied by thickness. What is that area? 0 0.5 to 10 to the power 4 multiplied by 0 0.05. And hey, you got the answer 25 centimeter. This is your volume. But I don't need to find volume. I need to find the number of atoms that can be deposited on the surface of that. Well, you can see one more thing is given to you and that's density. So using volume and using density, you can find mass. How? You know the formula. Density is equal to mass upon volume. Hence, if I want to find mass, I'll multiply density with volume. I hope it's all crystal clear, right? Density. And what density is given to you? It's 7.2. 7.2. Okay, fine. So it's 7.2 into volume is 25. Now you got the mass over here. 7.2 multiplied by 25. Clear? And what's that mass? It is 180 gram. This is the total mass. This is the total mass of copper. Right? Because the thickness of copper is given, the area of plate is given. Using that, what is the mass of copper required to be deposited? 180. How simple it is. Right? Area of copper, sorry, thickness of copper is given. Multiplying by area, you will get the volume. From that volume, you will get the mass of copper which gets deposited on the metal plate. So on the plate, this is the mass of copper which is deposited. Now, atomic mass of copper, atomic mass of copper is 63.5 gram per mole. It indicates that one mole copper weighs 63.5 gram. Then 180 gram will have, what is the number of moles? Actual number of moles. You will get number of moles, but wait over here. You don't need to find the number of moles. You need to find number of atoms. And how shall you find number of atoms? Well, number of atoms, if you want to find, it's number of moles multiplied by our get number. Number of moles, you'll get number of moles from here. 180 divided by 63.5. 180 divided by 63.5 multiplied by our get number. 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. And here's the final answer. Number of atoms that is required to be deposited on its surface. Calculate it. You'll get answer around 1.71 into 10 to the power 24. This are the total number of atoms that are required to be deposited on the surface of plate. Wow, it's quite easy. So as I say, numerical seems to be difficult, but if we'll correct, if we'll use uh, logic correctly, you will get correct answer. Take a screenshot of this and moving on to number 4. Okay, now moving on to Question number four of favorite five. So here is your question number four. You can see question number four. Two elements are given x and y. These two elements form two compounds. One xy2, another xy3. xy2, it has 0.1 mole and if you see x3 by 2, it has 0 0.05 moles. So if 0.1 mole of x y2 is 10 gram and 
0 0.05 of uh, x3 y2 is 9 gram what is the atomic mass of x and y right okay since as i said it's difficult but it's not so if you see 0.1 mole of xy2 is 10 gram 0.1 mole of xy2 weighs 10 gram so if i say 1 mole of xy2 weighs 10 upon 0.1 that is 100 gram it's very clear how if i say 0.1 weighs 10 gram that 1 mole weighs how many grams if you do mathematically 10 upon 0.1 you will get 100 clear and what is the mass of 1 mole the mass of 1 mole it's actually molar mass molar mass mass of 1 mole is actually molar mass so this is molar mass of xy2 therefore molar mass of xy2 is equal to 100 gram and how to find molar mass the atomic mass of x plus 2 into atomic mass of y is 100 do it result number 1 same way if you see 0 0.05 mole weighs 9 gram for x3 y2 so 0 0.05 mole of it's x y2 sorry x3 y2 it it weighs 9 gram 0 0.05 mole weighs 9 gram if 0 0.05 mole of x3 y2 weighs 9 gram then 1 mole of x3 y2 it weighs well it's 9 divided by 0 0.05 so if 9 divided by 0 0.05, it will be 900 upon 5. It's 900 upon 5. Here. Yeah. And 900 upon 5 is your 180 gram. Is that clear? 180 gram. Explain by 2. Well, 1 mole indicates molar mass. So again, 3, mole, uh, 3 into atomic mass of X plus 2 into atomic mass of Y weighs 180 gram. It's number 2. Now 1 and 2 is solved by elimination number elimination method of maths. If you remember mathematics rule. So I'll copy the number 2 part over here is equal to 100 minus equation number 2 by equation number 1. So if it's minus 2i will get cancelled. Hence 2x will be equal to 80. X will be equal to 40. That's atomic mass of x. That is the atomic mass of X. Quite simple. Now, what is atomic mass of Y? Well, substitute in either of these one, number one or number two. If you substitute over here, it's 80 to four side. So 80 opposite side it will go 100 minus 80, it will be 20. So Y, well, it will be Y is equal to 2 four side 80, opposite side it will go. I'm sorry, it's x. Okay, fine, fine. I forgot. X is 40. X is 40. It goes to this side. 2y is equal to 60. It goes to this side. It's 60. Implies that y is equal to 60 by 2 and it's 30. So substituting the value of x 40 over here, 40 over here, changing the side of 40, 100 minus 40 becomes 60. 2y will be equal to 60. So y will be is equal to 30. So hence atomic mass of x is 20 gram, atomic mass of y is 30 gram. Here, and this is your question number 4. Well, now the fifth part of favorite part, J advance. There is an alloy. If you will see, there is an alloy which is made up of two metal, x and y. This alloy weighs 12 gram. If you see the question, it weighs 12 gram. And in this alloy, see the question properly. In this alloy, the percentage by mass of X is 20. So out of 12 gram, 20% is of X. 20% is of X. What is the molar mass of Y if atomic mass of X is 40? So atomic mass of X is 40. You need to find the atomic mass of Y. Is that clear? Fine. So weight of alloy is given to you weight of alloy it's given to you and it is 12 gram now it is said that out of 12 20 percent of alloy weighs x atom 
So X atoms in alloy weighs weighs it's twenty percent of twelve. That's twenty by hundred into twelve. Twenty by hundred into twelve will become two point four gram. So in twelve gram of alloy, two point four gram is of X atom. Then the remaining will be of Y atom. Y atom weighs twelve minus two point five, and it's nine point six gram. Clear? Okay. Secondly, find out the number of atoms in X. How shall we find? Well, you know the formula. Number of atoms is equal to number of moles multiplied by Avogadro number. Number of moles is mass divided by molar mass. Again. For this formula, just watch my video lecture number two. You will get all the formulas in two and three. So, what is the mass of X? It's two point four. What is the molar mass? It's given to you forty six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. Hence, you will get the number of atoms of X. The number of atoms of X. It is. 3.61 into 10 to the power 22. These are the number of atoms of X. One more th thing, if you see the question, the ratio is given of atoms of X to the Y and it's 2 is to 5. So, the ratio of number of atoms of X to the number of atoms of Y and that ratio is 2 by what is the number of atoms of X in the alloy? It's 3.61 into 10 to the power 22. So, 3.61 into 10 to the power 22. Bring 5 over here. It will get multiplied with X. Bring 2 over here. It will come into denominator. You will get number of Y atoms. Here, yeah? You will get number of Y atoms. By doing this, by doing this, you will get number of Y atoms. Clear? Yeah? And the number of Y atoms is 9.025 into 10 to the power 22. But hey, that's not your answer. You need to find atomic mass. Atomic mass is the mass of one mole of atom. You can say, you can say molar mass also. Mass of one mole of atom. One mole means elevated number. So what is the mass of Number of atoms that is ever given number of atoms. Well, the mass of 9.05 into 10 to 22 atoms is 9.6. This many atom weighs 9.6. This many atom weighs because that is the mass of y atom, and these are the number of y atoms. So 9.055 into 10 to the power 22 atoms weighs 9.6. Then 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms is what? What is the mass? Hence, you will get atomic mass of Y. It's 9.6 divided by Avogadro number multiplied by this one. 9.05, 9. this one. 9.05 into 10 to the power 22. 9.05, yes. 9.05 into 10 to the power 22. And this I will get to number over here 6.023 into 10 to 23. Just calculate it. You have that answer 64 gram. So, these are some higher level questions of whole concept, and that's why I call it favorite five questions. These all questions seem very difficult, but as I said, the concept and memorizing of formula is very important. Well, I hope you like my video. I'll keep updating more videos of such high level questions. Till then, keep watching my videos and yes, subscribe my channel too. Thank you and have a nice time.